Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hon, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money and it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Town looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. It's 
pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess? That's it? I don't really want to talk about the house right now. Oh, okay. We don't have to. Feeling this? Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey. I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Hey, look what I found. Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? 
Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Ah, yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. <coughs> Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was... Tyler really Ronan. Yes, Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different last Thanks, time. but yes. I won't be here long. So, My what brings you two around? Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father. I gotta get going. I'll see you later. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. What's that look for? I forgot your birthday. Mm -hmm. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know, the archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mail office. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement. Hey, been meaning to say, really Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. They have a really hard time hiring because, I won't lie, it's tough work. And some of the people they do hire don't give a shit about the kids, you know? I knew I could do some good if I stayed, so I did. Yeah, like I said. They were lucky. Service is a calling few people are willing to answer. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, 
be it fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them, people who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? So how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here and the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? It's been hard to make any plans. Things have been way too up in the air. Well, this is something I have told your sister before, and that I'll tell you now. It's okay to take your time to figure things out. Figure yourself out. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Could you go through Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Your morning with me. Dr. Torres. Of course. I woke up at five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at 6. I'm hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Of course. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. And as we were eating, I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me, so I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Someone, something, was going through our mailbox. My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid around her size. She shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. A little kid. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. A little kid wearing stripes. What about you? What's up? How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. It took a few months before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I chickened out. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? She's back at her father's house for the week. Could I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think it'd be helpful if I could talk to Isabella. Yes, of course. Come on, we need to find another way up.
So, what brings you two around? Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? You might, actually. Is there any way we could see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well, you're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So we can see it? Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Gregs, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Uh, and why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry. Anyway, if Brown's not going to be straight up with us, we should just read it for ourselves. Yeah. All right. Huh. This says there's an emergency exit upstairs. Oh my god. Of course there is. Follow me. Upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really. No. Right. Let's go. Oops. Tyler. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Gotta get going. Where's Allison? Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. Right 
Here, open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. Strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More back. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but. I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Oh, personnel files, department budgets, but zero case files. Is Brown. 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here- Whoa. 
where Alan looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does... One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. different possibilities. I don't think that's the right order. different possibilities. I don't think that's the right order. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Yes. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. 
Nope. Not this one. No, that's not it. Nope. Well? Not this one either. No, that's not it. Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. No, that's not it. Nope. Well, you know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so... No. Nope. Not this one either. No, that's not it. Nope. You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. some other files and audio recordings though you might be able to look those up on the computer even if our file hasn't been digitized yet they may already have it in the appendix other references on the computer. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. is 05 R62 766 
this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? No, that's not it. Nope. Well? Not this one either. No, that's not it. Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? I have her autopsy report. Okay. She... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non-fatal. What? C-O-M-E-B-R. There. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just just keep looking. Here, they go. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, 
I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Brew. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. There might be... This is Officer Eddie Brown. Uh, already seen this one. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Brew. Out of I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. There might be other references on the computer. There might be other references on the computer. There might be a Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. It's my mom. She she fell in the water. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Uh, uh, already seen this one.